Welcome guys, my name is Jason Jacobs and this is my bunny Bubbles, my magic bunny. And today we're going to be finding the area of a kite. Area of a kite, this is really cool. So Bubbles, you ready to find the area of a kite? Are you guys ready to find it? Here's how we do it. Let's see, here we have a kite. And you can see the dimensions from here to here is 14. The dimensions from here to here is 9. The dimensions from here to here is 2 meters. And from here to here is also 2 meters for this kite. Let's go fly a kite. And in order to do this, a couple different ways. One, you could um, cut it, decompose it like this. And you have a triangle here and another triangle here. And uh, in order to find the area of a kite, you need to know that the area of a triangle is one half base times height, one half times the base times the height, or base times height divided by two. All right. So here, this is four. The base is four and the height is nine. Divided by two is, um, 36 divided by two is 18 meters squared for this triangle. Now, there's an easier way. And then you would do four times 14 divided by two, uh, four uh, half of four is two times 14 is 28. So you would add 28 plus 18 to get the area of this kite. Now there's an easier way bubbles to do it. One, how can we divide this kite to get two congruent triangles? Well, that's right, right here. Look at this two scaling obtuse triangles, one triangle is here. And then the identical triangle is here. Now that leaves us with a base that the base from this vertex to this vertex is 9 plus 14. Now, 9 plus 14 is 23. So the base is 23. We're going to do 23 times 2, okay, it's 46, divided by 2 is 23. So this area of this bottom triangle is 23, and this area is 23. 23 plus 23 is 46, right, Bubbles? Bubbles got, like, so excited he was jumping over to tell you guys. So 46 meters squared. Let's see if that's right. Because area is found in square units. And then we'll do one more trapezoid. Now, this next one I want you to, guys to do. Um, let me show you what it looks like. There is loading the trapezoid. Here is the trapezoid we're going to find the area of. Now, how can we divide this kite? No, did I say trapezoid? Ah, no, no, it's not a trapezoid bubbles. It is a kite. So how do we find the area of this kite bubbles? Well, in order to find the area of this kite, what we're going to do is um, divide this kite, not trapezoid, into two congruent triangles. So there's going to be one congruent triangle and there's going to be another triangle. So 15 plus 21 is 36, guys. So we have 36 times 18 divided by 2 for the area of one triangle. So I'm going to do that on the calculator. Uh, 36 times 18 divided by 2, that's 324. Now, the other side is also has an area of 324 centimeters squared. So we're going to add those two areas together, and we get 648. Now I'm going to teach you a hack here, a math hack. Bubbles, this math hack is going to save you a lot of time. Here's the math hack, guys. Did you notice how this was 324 and this was 324? Well, do we even have to divide by 2? Look. 21 plus 15 is 36, and then times 18 divided by 2, and then times 2. When you divide by 2 and times by 2, it just cancels out. So really what you could do to save time on these, finding the area of a kite, is do 21 plus 15 to find this base here is 36, and then just do 36 times 18, and then instead of dividing by 2 times 2 nonsense, you don't have to do that. You just get that. 648. And that is how you find the area of a kite. What? That's not right, guys. It says in square meters. Oh, no. Wow. How many square meters? We found square centimeters. Man, that's a fine print. Bubbles. We did not read the fine print. 
Okay, bubbles. How many centimeters are in a meter? 100. Okay, guys, there's 100 centimeters in a meter. So we are going to have to multiply. Oh, we're going to have to bubbles. We're going to have to multiply. Um, uh, no, we're going to divide by 100 because we're going from a smaller unit to a larger unit. We divide. So we go 15, um, 36 divided by 100, and that equals 0 0.36. And then 18 divided by 100 is 0 0.18. So we're going to do 0.36 times 0 0.18, 18 hundredths. And we are going to get this many meters squared, which is 0 0.0648. So this is 648 ten thousandths. That's tenths, hundredths, thousandths, ten thousandths. Oh, please be right. Oh, thank goodness. I was thinking it wasn't going to be right. Man, that was tricky. It's at square meters and centimeters there. But hey, that's why I'm doing this for you guys. You can learn from these mistakes. Oh, that's great. That's great stuff. So um, that was the area of a kite. I hope you enjoyed it and learned something from it. My name is Jason Jacobs. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.